1 Samuel 22 verse 2 reads, Then others began coming, men who were in trouble or in debt or were just discontented, until David was the captain of about 400 men. David is on the run from King Saul. He's hiding out in a cave as Saul has encouraged his assassination and even tried to kill David himself. But God is drawing people to David, first his family and then others. And the methods God uses to draw people to David are the same methods he uses to draw people to himself today. This is where we find ourselves in this story. First, God uses trouble. When troubles come into our life, we begin looking for peace. And true and lasting peace is only found in the Prince of Peace. Jesus is the only source of lasting peace for a troubled soul. Next, God uses debt to draw people to himself. Not debt in terms of dollars and cents, but through the realization that we are completely and solely dependent upon him to provide everything we need for life and godliness. God is the right answer to every one of life's questions. And then God uses discontentment. When we are displeased with the conditions of the world we live in, the circumstances around us, we begin to look for real fulfillment. It's then that we recognize that the things of the world will never be enough to bring us satisfaction. No matter what we try to feed the flesh, it will never be appeased. Only God offers complete contentment. Only He can satisfy the desires of our heart. These were the circumstances in the lives of the men who came to David during his time of exile. They weren't an A-team or picks of the litter, but God grew them and changed them into a core group that would later help govern when David's rule of Israel was established. God took a group of misfits who were desperate, brought nothing to the table, and were completely out of options and brought them into his family to stand with his king. What did God use to draw you into his family? Give thanks today for what God has done in your life.